I say, somebody who was raised in the South, certain states come to mind. My mind never really thinks about the big picture. Our classmate, Ethan Thompson, was born in the heart of Missouri, but when I say he was raised in the South, you have to think bigger. He was raised in the lively nation of Brazil, Rio to be exact. I signed up for this speech not even knowing Ethan's last name. I had no prior knowledge to any of his background or his family. After our dinner together and our interview, I realized that Ethan's life was much more intriguing than my own. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in Missouri, but then lived in Brazil, specifically Rio, for the first four years of his life. Ethan's family I was normal at first glance, but when you take a deeper dive, they all become more intriguing. Mom, Hallie Jane Thompson, Dad, Gregory Dean Thompson, and Sister, Maisie Jane Thompson, plus Ethan, create a fearsome foursome. Living originally in Missouri, the family moved spontaneously to Rio, where they spoke a hybrid language of Portuguese and English, which Ethan continued to speak until kindergarten back in the United States, when his parents informed him that he should probably stick to English. <laughs> Ethan was raised playing multiple sports, including lacrosse, basketball, and football, all throughout his high school career. Crazy fact about his sports career, Ethan has broken his right arm three times, left arm twice, <coughs> left leg twice, right ankle once, all playing football or basketball. I had to read that because it's crazy. <laughs> uh, Ethan's college life is also very active, but not exactly in the same ways. As a kid, Ethan in 8th grade experienced one of his close friends who was diagnosed with cancer, and Ethan recognized how terrifying that diagnosis was. In college, he decided he would try his absolute best to do something about that fear. He started a club called Hippies for Hope, where the group sells tie-dye t-shirts and donates extras to the kids with cancer diagnoses in the local hospitals. The club then takes days off and spends time out of their own busy schedules with the kids in the hospitals, so hopefully to make them forget about their situation and enjoy life for just a moment. Ethan is a sophomore at Cal Poly studying business administration. He is trying to focus in real estate finance, and some of his hobbies include hiking, and his favorite spot is the P in Poly Canyon. Ethan took comms in order to improve the professional aspect of his public speaking so he can have success later in his career. Throughout my interview with Ethan, I found out there is much more to him than meets the eye. I hope everybody in this classroom got to learn a little something extra about our classmate Ethan Thompson. I enjoyed learning these things about him, and hopefully you did as well. Thank you for listening. Okay, Cole, uh, compared to your first speech, what do you think? Um, I, the first speech I had was the oral and terp speech where I tried to memorize the whole thing. Um, and I don't really like to do that. Usually, I like to get information and then just try as much as I can to like talk off of the information, because um, I feel like I stumble less when I do that. Um, so I think that was good. Uh, I did have to like look down for certain specific details, um, but I tried to like keep eye contact as much as possible. Um, so yeah, I felt like I stumbled less and hopefully looked up more. So okay. that's good. Uh, organizational structure, what would you say for you? Uh, I said topical because I went from like his family life and his background where he lived um, and then to his college life kind of, as like the clubs he started in college, his major, um, and what he likes to do while he's here. Um, so those are kind of like my two topics. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Teammates, if you could. All right, so I focused on delivery, uh, and you had a very clear speaking voice. It was very steady, uh, a lot of confidence uh, when you were very close when you were speaking. 